Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I've got a little bonus video for my channel. It's going to be a description of how Let's Play for Goals works because I'm presuming people are getting confused because the video that I posted of episode 1 has 6 likes and 6 dislikes and it's probably because I've changed a lot of the things and people just don't know how it's going to work. So this entire video is probably around about 8 minutes long and it's going to be a description of how the series works. In every single episode of Let's Play for Goals, I'll write this down in the description and I'll uh, say at the start of each episode, go and watch the description video if you don't understand how this series works. So yeah, I'm going to go on to another clip of me explaining how the series works. So yeah, hope you do understand it after this video and if you have, please let me know in the comments and like this video because that like shows me that you understand thanks this is being recorded on the 12th of december which is when episode one of this series went live and within a couple of hours i noticed that it had six likes and six dislikes and i think that's because people got confused with the series and didn't know what the hell i was on about because i changed it so basically at the start of this episode i'm going to go through it how the series works in simple terms it will be in the description of all future videos and I'm not going to change it. It will be a rigid structure. So from this episode on, it should be really easy to understand. So here goes. Basically, I've got a picture of Lineker and Rooney on the top of the screen when I start showing highlights. I'll go into why I'm doing that after I explain about the picture. So basically, picture of Rooney and a picture of Lineker. On next to their names is the letter G and the letter A. G means goals. A, uh, a means assists, right? Basically, whenever Rooney or Lineker gets an assist or a goal in this series, I play a sound effect, then uh, the number on top updates by one. So say Rooney assisted, his assists will go up by one. Lineker scored, his goals would go up by one. And like we're on episode three now, so I think Lineker's on six goals, right? So it will start with Lineker on six goals because it's a series. So he's accumulated six goals up to now. So it will start on six. And basically, whichever person, like the ultimate aim is to get 50 total goals and assists. So say Rooney got 30 goals and 20 assists. That equals 50. And Lineker, by that time, say it was episode 10, Rooney had hit the 50 target. And Lineker had only had 25 goals and 20 assists. That would mean he totaled 45 when Rooney had totaled 50. Since Rooney totaled 50, he would win. As soon as one, either Lineker or Rooney, totals 50 goals and assists, the series will end. When that happens, I'll let you know what happens after the series ends on that episode. I'm not going to confuse you with that yet. And another thing, whenever Rooney or Lineker scores a goal, I will add 1,000 coins to the budget for the end of the episode. And whenever the Rooney or Lineker gets an assist, I will add 500 coins to the budget. So basically, in each episode, I show three games. I show the highlights. And as I say, whenever Rooney or Lineker scores or assists, it will get updated in the top in little annotations. I've already explained that, okay? So I'll do an outro at, after the three games highlights that will explain how many goals each of them got, how many assists, because obviously the annotations only tell you the total for the series. So I'll go through how many goals they got this, uh, this episode, how many assists. I will total that up, so say... Rooney got two goals, Lineker got two goals, and they both got one assist. So basically, two goals is 2,000, plus Rooney's two goals would be another 2,000, so that's 4,000. And then each of them got one assist, that's 500 coins. So 4,000 add 1,000 is 5,000. So I would add 5,000 to my budget, which is 9,282 coins at the minute. And then I would go out at the end of the episode and buy a player because it's kind of a road to glory slash who performs best type thing since that was my series. So yeah, basically that is what's happening. And say this episode, I'm going to buy a midfielder at the end of the episode because I need one because I've got no playmaker. So 
in the outro, I'll show you the player that I buy. I'll show me getting the coins transferred over. Obviously, I'll tell you how many goals and assists were scored by Rooney and Lineker. And, yeah, I'll show you any healing cards, any fitness cards I buy. Okay, I hope that has ironed everything out for you. Also, it's Rooney and Lineker I'm bothered about. I don't care who else scores. I'll show you the highlights, but there won't be any updates to the annotations because it's only Rooney and Lineker that I care about because it's supposed to be a series that finds out if a legend is better than a normal striker. As I say, if you haven't understood this, feel free to rewind. I will uh, put this in every single description of every single video of this series and I might like put some annotations alongside what I've just said. Uh, if I have, then, yeah, you'll already know. But, obviously, I'm doing this live, so they wouldn't have been there then. Sorry, that's confusing. Basically, there'll be annotations going over what I've said in this episode. And I really apologise if you did get confused. But, as I say, it should all be ironed out now. There'll be no more changes. It'll be a rigid structure. So, from this episode on, everything will be the same, so you'll get the hang of it. There was always going to be some friction at the start because it's a new series idea and sometimes it is a bit complicated to go through. So I apologise for that. I didn't do that well. But yeah, if you've got any problems or you are confused, please write down in the comments instead of disliking the video. I mean, if you generally don't like it, then fine. But disliking the video doesn't tell me what you don't like. I'm presuming it was because it was confusing because I've asked a couple of my mates to watch it, see what they think and they've got back to me. Basically if you don't like something please put down in the comments because I can't make my content better if I don't know what the trouble is. Constructive feedback, uh, constructive criticism really does help a YouTuber and especially me who's a smaller one any feedback I get is really, really appreciated. So please, if there's something you don't get, something you don't like, let me know. I'll see if I can rectify it. I'll do my best and I'll always reply. That's the thing. Like, whenever you comment, I'll reply as soon as I can. It's within a day, every single time. But yeah, I hope you have understood this and I hope you do enjoy. And yeah, sorry for episode one and two not being up to scratch. But from episode 3 onwards, the content will hopefully make sense and will be rigid. There'll be no changes, so everything should be fine for you guys. Anyway, if you have enjoyed, then please do hit that like button. Or if it's been informative, please hit the like button so I know. And also comment in the comment section if there's anything you don't understand. Or if you did understand it, let me know. Please subscribe for daily fifth forwarding content. And yeah, peace.